the Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec. I'm Jim Houston. And I'm Craig Simpson. Welcome to what should be a spirited contest here tonight between the Montreal Canadiens and the Colorado Avalanche. These guys are in tough tonight. They're up against an aggressive club that loves to take the body. And I'll tell you why that's hard. You're always looking over your shoulder wondering if you're about to get hit. You can't make smart plays when you're hearing footsteps. Center ice for the opening faceoff. The faceoff goes to the Avalanche. Montreal Canadiens take possession of the puck. Passed over to Gionta. Here comes Gionta. This is one guy that can really turn a game around for you when the pressure starts to rise. Whether it's throwing a big hit or scoring a goal, he always seems to come through. He plays the game with big heart. To Hannon. Here comes Svatos. He knocks the puck away with a poke check. Puck grabbed by Plakanich. To La Tondresse. That's offside. to drop the puck. Faceoff goes to Colorado. He coughs up the puck. And now he's cleared the zone. Let on dress. To Stitson. There's a quick shot in behind. Gain the blue line on the attack. The shoot in. Right. Quick shot. Pucci. To Stewart. And he whistled it wide in the net. Picked up by Colorado. To the front. Oh, Georges gets called for tripping. And he went down. Then the whistle falls. Colorado will try and take advantage of a penalty here. Well, we haven't seen the power play yet tonight, but we know they're going to be a hand. Got great skill on that first one. He gave it away behind the net. Ahead to D'Agostini. He turned the puck over. Kokus shoots the puck to Wolski. A one on one battle. Shot the puck. He scores on the power play. That was a very smart play by our goal scorer. He knew there was going to be a rebound on the shot, and he got to the puck before anyone else could. To Quincy. He intercepts it. Tucker gets run over. Here comes Svatopoulos. Oh, what a defensive play to knock the puck off his stick. Markov will get the gate for tripping. Did he really think he could get away with tripping him? Well, the sad thing is, once in a while, they do get away with it. And that's why they keep trying. Colorado has one power play goal already, and they'll get a second opportunity. Quickly enough to shot that stop two. That was all reflex to keep his team from trailing by two. But cleared out by Lapierre. Colorado scooped it up. To Milan Heaton. And he pokes the puck away. It's corralled by Moen to Georges. Here come the Canadiens, putting on more pressure. To Wolski. Colorado has it now. Cleared down the ice by Gill. Quincy with the puck. He steals it. Puck picked up by foot. Colorado is now one for two with a man advantage as the penalty expires. Colorado grabs the puck. He 
turn the puck over. Here's Adam Foot looking for his first shot on net. He passes the puck to Wolfski, and he moves it into the attacking zone. And another stop! And he kept his team close here late in the first with that save. Tegastini dumps the puck in. Now he passes it to Jones. Poked away. Montreal jumps on it. Over to Georges. The ref indicates a delayed call. He gets called for hooking. Take a look at the replay, and it's crystal clear what happened. Keep your eye on it. Montreal will try and take advantage of a penalty here. Well, we haven't seen the power play yet tonight, but we know they're going to be a handful. They've got great skill on that first unit. One-time shot. Here's Brian Gionta. Shoots it quickly. Gionta, another quick shot. And he missed the net. Montreal, got it. Snaps the shot. Gionta. It's cleared by McLeod. And time winds down as the first period comes to an end with the score one to nothing.